ladies and gentlemen, karibu ni sana to another episode of this space. And today on the spotlight, I have a missionary, I have an artist, I have a celebrity, and if you ask me, she's a legend. And without further ado, I'm gonna ask her to tell us more about herself. Karibu sana, Nemi. Thank you, thank you so much, Gloria. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too certain of all those uh, things that have been said about me. Especially the last one, um, yeah, really doubting them, but thank you, it's good to be here. Karibu. Asante. So, Nemi, tell us more about yourself, where you come from, your, if you're schooling, you know, mm-hmm. which come is all. Okay, um, so my name is Nemi, um, but, so that's my nickname, uh, my full name is Ika Nemanyara, um, and what, I'm, I'm, I'm not in school, but I'm waiting to graduate. So I am a linguist. I studied a Bachelor of Arts and in a double major in linguistics and Swahili. And I was able to finish last year. That's yeah. amazing. Yes, yes. Man, that's amazing because hey, being a linguist, Kwanza in Swahili, don't even get me started in my Swahili. <laughs> but anyway. I'm a bit rusty now, by the way. So how are okay. you feeling you're graduating and um, I'm hoping to graduate and I really, really can't wait for that. Um, mm-hmm. I think it will be an awesome experience just because anyone who is in your end yeah. knows that it's not <laughs> just a one-to-one process just to be able to graduate. Mm-hmm. But yeah, really, really can't wait for that. Oh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. And please invite me to your graduation because, <laughs> yeah, we live for the food. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> all jokes aside, um, tell me more about your Christianity and mm-hmm. where you started. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hmm, let me see. I got saved at a young age, but I think it took a lot for me to understand what uh, the journey of salvation meant. Mm-hmm. And so, um, interestingly, the first time I got saved um, was through my dad. Um, and I was, I think, in class three. And what happened is that, uh, what I remember is, whenever I go to Sunday school, and I think this happens in most Sunday school classes, the Sunday school teacher at the end of the lesson would be like, "Oh, so who wants to give their life to Jesus?" And I used to, I used to raise my hand every, every, every time, every time, because I used to think, "Oh, yeah, I'm mean, going to Jesus in my heart every day. Let's do this." But he used to think I'm mocking him. So one time he, told, he went and told my dad, like, oh, so this child of yours is always raising her hand. Um, so when my dad asked me, like, why I do that, and I was like, but I always want Jesus. Like, <laughs> isn't he someone we should have? And then he told me, like, no, um, you know, and, he, and he, once he talked to me, when he, once he spoke to me, he, he got to realize that I wasn't understanding. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, I was young, so yeah, I needed was a father, yes, yeah. you know. So I remember that day it was a Sunday night and he was able to take me through um, what it meant in a very, you know, baby-ish way. Mm-hmm. And I was able to, to understand and I accepted Jesus yeah, into my heart. Um, but then over the years, I was not living like a proper Christian. And then fast forward to when I was in Form 4, um, very long story prior to this, but my mom this time um, after I had kind of you know um, gone away from the faith my mom was able to lead me to Christ again so it was for me it's just always really amazing when I think about it that my mom and my dad are actually the ones who who um, yeah got me into the knowledge of Jesus and yeah this is where we're at and I'm grateful to God. That is amazing so okay you're a part of the Mamlaka community and I also understand that you're a solitarian. So tell me about that. Like, when did you join? How did you first learn about it? Okay. Um, so I joined Mamlaka um, through Salt, actually, mm-hmm. officially in 2018. So 2016, because um, I joined UN in 2015. So 2016, I had a friend who told me about Salt. Um, and then another friend told me about salt, and then three friends told me about salt. So I visited like twice or something when I was in twi- when I was in uh, second year, mm-hmm. and then um, I remember 
I also now started coming in 2017 but just once in a while and then now once I auditioned for the worship team and joined officially was in 2018 so that's when I can say I became an active Solterian um, yeah so I was a Solterian from 2018 to this year <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, nice. that's so speaking of worship, mm -hmm. I understand that you are a musician. That's why I said celebrity. Ah, ha, celebrity over here. But yeah, tell me how you started, mm -hmm. like the journey through your singing mm -hmm. career, if I can say. Yeah. And yeah, where it has gotten you, and mm -hmm. how it's going on for you. All right. Um. So I I started singing as a. BGV, like a background vocalist for my brother, like as a joke, because my brother is one who really liked singing when we were young. So we would have family events, and then my cousin and I would always BGV for my brother. And then um, after, and then also in church, we used to have a lot of kids' concerts and stuff like that. Um, and then at some point in high school, I started taking it up more seriously. When I joined high school, I was in the choir. Um, but then post. Um, post um, high school is when now I was like okay I think I want to, I want to do this like more seriously and so I joined a, a vocal school called Saudi Academy uh, and I was there for about a year and a half and then I graduated in 2015 um, and then same same year I joined a band called Sahili Family mm -hmm. and that's where I'm at so the band is called Sahili Family and we're a group of seven members at the moment mm -hmm. um, yeah and we we, we don't have a particular genre of music, but we really like um, uh, a bit of soft, uh, soft kind of soul and jazz. Mm. Yeah, um, and that's that's where I'm at. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, please tell me where that school is, because we're suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and by where I mean me, huh? not everyone. <laughs> but oh. yeah, so that was it, guys. That was Nemi for you and. We'll see her again at the Cheza Kiwewe segment. Bye for now. <laughs> I win. Bye for now, I take five. <laughs> my city, my city, my city. My city, my city, my city. Hi guys, Karibuni Sana to another segment called Take Five. This is season. Two episode two 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 mm, two 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 two. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, this is take five where we get to address a question or a concern pertaining to the Christian faith, both for believers and for non-believers alike. I'm Pascal and I'm joined Undi. by Undi, my very good friend, mm -hmm. and we are here to do take five. Um, so there's this thing that the Bible calls the gospel. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in other places, it's called the good news. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the central message. Of the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. uh, Bodhi, would you mind sharing with us what is the gospel? Which is our question for today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa, this might be the question of all questions mm -hmm. because without uh, an answer to this question, all other questions that we'll ever answer or we've ever answered are null and void. Because uh, this is the beginning, uh, this is what sustains you within and also after. Uh, like because the gospel is useful before, uh, during and even after the process that God is taking us through. Um, I, I will go to the tenet, tenet of just saying what the gospel is not uh, and giving you uh, word for word as to what the gospel is. Let me give you an analogy. Uh, I, we all don't like dentists. <laughs> I, I think so. We all don't like dentists because um, what they take us through is really painful. Um, so the a patient walks into a dentist and uh, uh, into a dentist's uh, office and they sit in a dentist chair and the dentist says, "Hey, uh, we need to do a root canal, my dear." And uh, the guy sits in a chair and uh, scared, mm. scared. Uh, because uh, he knows this operation will be painful and so there's an anesthesia that's given and uh, we all know how that process goes uh, you need to almost even be under in a sense so as for the extraction that needs to happen and even later he'd say do you want us to fill it with a crown you know i uh, give her another tooth to fill in that way that was there and then uh, you're good to go shines you up in nice um uh, when we do come to god we have a need um, and um God, probably who is the dentist uh, in this story, will seek your highest good. Uh, 
uh, for his glory. And uh, his highest good is, I will relieve you of your pain. And this will be painful. Uh, the process, uh, the anesthesia, the, the time that will be taken to extract that with. And so he will take you through that. And um, it will be a loving process. Though at that point, it seems painful. What we were talking about last week, with God loving enough uh, to us to leave us where we are. And it will be a painful process. So when I think of the gospel, I, I think of this good news that has come to this patient who told, you don't have to feel pain anymore. And uh, probably I might have to change a few things within you. That will be painful. But if you trust me to the very end, uh, this will be a loving process. And also after that, if you take care of this tooth that I'm going to give you after I have extracted the bad tooth, um, this will be for your good. And to glorify me as a dentist, that you walk around and get like, I want to see your dentist. I want to go there and see. Uh, this dentist. So God's good news has shown up to the sinner um, to alleviate them from the sin and the guilt and the shame. They'll have a bright smile that will glorify the Father in heaven, the dentist, and um, God is willing to do that for us. And so the goal of this good news that will be presented to you is not just to make you good. It's not just to, to forgive you of what you're doing, not just to give you an eternal security in heaven. This is to help you give glory to the great physician um, to spend an eternity with him. Apart from him, uh, then I don't think there's any heaven. Apart from him, there is no good news. Right? That's an analogy I would use. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. Apart from you right there. Mm. Uh, I guess um, even as the Bible describes the good news, mm. the gospel as good news, mm. uh, one day to us. Was there any bad? Was there any bad news in the <laughs> oh, hey, 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 Wasn't one things just okay? Mm. And, 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 and it's interesting that you mentioned the issue uh, with someone having a tooth issue, having to go see the dentist. And that's the bad news, right? Mm. Uh, right there, that we as human beings have issues. Mm. Uh, we are sinful. We are rebellious against God, and because God is uh, the God of justice. God who has to repay everyone what they deserve. Mm. Um, he has to bring justice and cast us away from himself. Mm. The good news is that now God is accepting us um, the way we are, right? Mm. Because our guilt and our sin has been placed on Jesus Christ mm. and he has taken the wrath of God that was supposed to be ours mm. so that we can be without guilt. Mm. Mm. So that now as God is taking us through this process that we are talking about, He's taking us through a process not to justify us before himself or to make us acceptable before him, but he has already accepted us. He has already taken us to be his also, and to be our father and him to be um, us to be his children mm. and takes us through that process because we are already in a relationship with him. Mm. We are not being refined to be in a relationship with him. Mm. See, that's the kind of acceptance that mm. we are talking about, uh, that God is accepting us mm. the way we are, mm. loving us the way we are, but because he wants to invite us into that relationship with him, um, he says, you know, once we're in that relationship, um, I need to do some things in the world, to make you beautiful, to make you enjoy me better. Mm. Mm. I think that's the kind of image The fact is, uh, just a statement that a uh, good friend of mine, Pastor Ted, um, you might know him, he keeps telling me, God is perfecting those whom He has already made perfect. That's uh, just alluding to what you say. Uh, you're saved, yes, you have a relationship with Him. Now, He is going to perfect you, you whom He has already made perfect. And it will be a painful process, really, because it means losing self to accept Him. And this will be for your good. Oh, trust you me. The many things you will have to leave that you thought gave you identity will be for your good and most of to give him a uh, highest glory for your highest good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for supporting for that. Um, well, even as we continue uh, with this series of questions that we're asking around the gospel and how we relate to our God, we want to take this opportunity to give an invitation to you. Uh, to say that God loves you and God has invited you to be in a relationship with him without having to clean yourself you just have to look on him and look at what he has done through Jesus Christ on that cross. Jesus took your guilt for your imperfection and sin so that you are remaining guilty. If only you believe in Jesus Christ, 
and some niches. Uh, we'll be talking more about these issues in the coming weeks uh, when we do our tech five. Mm -hmm. But for today, that has been tech five. Me, Pascal, Bundy, Bundy. Till next time, I'll take five. See you guys. My city, my city, my city. My city, my city, my city. Cheza kama wewe, nimejiweka kando Uwanjani wako, cheza kama wewe, yawe the little and humble the mighty if you stay the same yesterday today forever then you are the god who will give me the stones to slay this to another segment of the show this is the spaced out segment and i'm back with nemi here and today as usual i always have some fun fun interactive games with my guests and so what we're doing today is i have like we have papers and these papers have like one word yeah they have one word and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be listening to loud music through this and try and figure out what the other person is whispering like 
the whispers must be from the words they are saying. But so you get the point. And that's it. Let the games begin. <laughs> So before I begin, let me have still a half minutes to answer all the five whispers. Let me see whispers. Yes. So yeah, let's start. Hello, um, hmm. <laughs> oh, you started. <laughs> <laughs> Louder. Lori Downward <laughs> Okay Um Laurel Lion King uh, <laughs> Okay, she got that one <clears throat> Taco <laughs> no. Piano. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> please. Huh? Hello. Mm -mm. Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Love heart. Travis. Love is. Service. Have you. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Nevis Clevis No Navas No I, I think your 30 seconds are over <laughs> You failed this one So the last one uh, This one is easy Movello Moving on Move along. Move along. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Move along. <laughs> Are we done? No. no move yeah. along. Yes, it's move along. But you had me say. No. You had me say move along. Okay. <laughs> it's my turn. Oh, is that it? You failed this one. This one was oh. Naivas. <laughs> Are you ready? Come roll, please. Have we started? Have we started? What are you waiting for? We've started. Hmm? Puruma. Puduma. <laughs> Puruma. <laughs> Handbag. <laughs> Audio mark. What? Rumia. <laughs> Paddington. What? <laughs> Audio mark. Ah, uh -uh, no. <laughs> Something mug. Hurumak. What? 
Pundum Bug <laughs> oh, Sorry What word was that? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <So> September <laughs> Oh yeah Pomeza. Pomeza. Propesa. Not being number one. So guys, we're coming to the end of the show. And as always, I have some quick fire questions for my guest over here. And she only has like 60 seconds to answer the one word. Uh, yeah, questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So first question, sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Aha, uh -huh, favorite TV show? One. Pass. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite flower? This cast. What's your best feature? Pass. When are you the happiest? 2016. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Wow, if you could say one thing to God, what would you say? Love. Okay, this is uh, no. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Koala bear. Favorite, oh, best fashion advice you've ever gotten? Be yourself. <laughs> What's the best compliment you've ever gotten? You have a cute smile. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Smoothies. What's your favorite food? Smoothies. <laughs> your nickname. <laughs> Tell me the nickname your parents used to call you when you were little. <laughs> what is your favorite childhood memory? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wah. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, hey. <laughs> what did you say your favorite food was? <laughs> God. Okay. So that was the end of the show, guys. Hope you enjoyed as I did. And until next time, bye.